Welcome back ladies. I'm really excited you guys are here because today I'm gonna curl my hair with the flat iron. Yes, I said the flat iron, not the curling iron. It's really cool because today you guys are gonna learn tons of techniques that I've learned throughout the years of me working at the flat iron booth. I like to curl my hair with a flat iron because it reduces my time, it gives me curls in no time, and I can work with big or little curls. You guys can add these curls into your hair that last long time with little hairspray and it could be the beginning of the style for the next continuing couple of days. So stick around guys, I'm gonna teach you guys tons of things. So before we get started, I hope you ladies back at home have watched my night to morning hair routine. I like to work with clean hair because the curls last longer and it's just easier to work with. It's really important to add heat protectant because we're gonna work with 430 degrees today. So any type of heat, make sure you guys do something to protect that hair. So I'm gonna take out my morning bun and I'm gonna divide my hair down the middle. Now this parting doesn't have to be perfect. I just like to part down the middle because I'm able to work with one side at a time and it just makes everything much cleaner and easier to work with. So since I'm working with my right side first, I'm going to clip my left side up. So now we're going to start sectioning our hair to start curling. And I like to divide from the bottom of my eyebrow all the way to the back of my neck in a V section going downwards. And I like to divide like this because I'm able to take hair both from the back and from the front section. Um, and when I curl it, it kind of all blends in, so it looks really nice. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the sections that I'm gonna start clamping onto my flat iron. And by that, I'm gonna loop my finger in my hair. So whatever my finger pulls out, it's gonna be this nice small strand, not too heavy on your finger. That way, um, it's not too much hair and I'm gonna run my fingers to remove all the tangles and now we're ready to clamp. But before we curl, I wanna share with you guys the four different type of positions you guys can place your flat iron. Now this is really good because it gives you a different type of style and you don't end up with the same direction of curl over and over again. Upwards will create a nice flip. Downwards will create volume. Backwards will give us a nice wave and to the front, we'll fill in any gaps. Let's loop a section in, loop it out. And when you guys clamp your flat iron, make sure you guys clamp from the top, flip it in a full 360 until the hair is on the other side of the flat iron. And the slower you go down, the curlier your hair will be. So, nice and curly. Now, let's go sideways going back. And you guys can hold your flat iron on the top or on the bottom. Play with your different angles and you guys will kind of get a hang of it. So, nice. Okay, so now we're gonna do a downwards. Grab that piece of hair on the other side and go down slowly. So now this is gonna go to the front. So now what I'm gonna continue to do is I'm gonna bring down more sections um, based on my width on my flat iron. So depending on your width back at home, um, if you guys measure it, then that's almost how big your sections will be. So you guys are welcome to mix and match any type of curls. Like I said, some fill in gaps, some give you volume, some are waves, so feel free, ladies. Cool, so my right side is done now, and I just gave also my bangs a little flip, and now we're gonna do the same thing on my left side. So I curled my whole head, but I think that this one didn't curl right. So as you guys can see right there. So what you guys can do with the ones that don't curl right is 
you guys just grab it from wherever it stopped curling and just recurl from that end because the top is already curled. Nice. Awesome. Big bouncy curls. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add on a little bit of hairspray. I don't need much because um, like I said, the flat iron does a really good job with the hold. So little hairspray will go a long way. So you want to put on the hairspray after you finish because if not, then you'll end up with a really gooey flat iron. Great, I'm done. So now that I taught you guys this great tips, make sure you guys try them at home because remember it can work with any type of hair and any type of flat iron. So follow me ladies, subscribe and ask me any questions. I'll see you guys soon, bye.